First, we started with 16 of the best bourbons. None over 50% ABV, no bottled in bonds. Each bourbon was then poured into its own 4 ounce sample bottle. Scott then assigned a number, 1 through 16, to each of the sample bottles, keeping a master list. Scott then handed, handed the bottles to Bart, who saw the number and assigned a random letter to each of the bottles, keeping his own list of what number became what letter. We then shuffled randomly the 16 4 ounce sample bottles and pulled them out four at a time to make four brackets of four samples. Stay tuned and find out which wins. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. It's begun. Bart here. Bart here. This is bracket one. Now, we went through, we showed you how we labeled the bottles. These are blind. They're right here. Bracket one is N, Nora, G, George, P, Paul, and E, Edward. Wow. Military phonetic instead of... That wasn't police. military. Or, was sorry, police phonetic instead of oh, military. November. November Golf, Papa, Papa. and Echo. Echo. I remember right. those. Yeah, those are cool. So Those are the NATO ones. We'll we don't know what there. we got here. We got four samples. They're lined up. I've got coins yeah. 297, 296, 295, and 293. 286, 287, 291, 292. Yep. Those we're going to go through. There. We're going to use different coins. There's going to be, if you order mm -hmm. a coin, there's going to be quite a few of these from the bourbon yeah. shootout. Yeah, a lot of people were saying when they order a coin, they want it associated with the show. So we've been adding in all the coins we can so that you can say, hey, order this coin, scotchdustummies.com, merch, order the coin, the thing. Boom. Let's get into this. So you've explained everything. The pre videos are great. Um, are we going to nose like NGPE in the same way, or are we just. That's, all over the place. Sure, let's start with it. Because we both know, you know, I mean, in is in. It's the same thing for both of us here. Rye. Hmm. Definite rye nose. So there's a, there's, I'm with you, there's a rye, a heavy rye in the mash bill. <laughs> Although, we don't know. I mean, they may be looking because they now know what we're yeah. nosing. They yeah. may be yeah. like idiot no, dummies. That's just dummies. It. We won't know until we're done with this whole shootout right. what is advanced. Right. So we're going to shoot the four brackets, we're yeah. going to shoot the championship, and then we'll find yeah. out. When we edit this, we'll put up for you. You'll be seeing what's here, but we don't know. I'm going to make a lot of bold proclamations. Like, Ryan in the mash, Bill. No, right. I think uh, yeah, I know. Ryan's pretty distinctive. I, it is, but I mean, you know, we come in and There's, they'll be like, oh, there ain't no Ryan in that. Yeah. That was a weeded. That yeah, was a heavy be. weeded bourbon. A dusty, dusty wood, corn, Yeah. rye. I get a corn. Huh. Vanilla. Kind of, I get a dry deck wood. <laughs> Back to the deck wood. I said dry, or dusty wood. Right. And I, I get a, a nut. What'll be interesting, what's really going to be huh. interesting to me, and a the same chewy, with the rise, is to see what stands out. Yeah. Surely one or two of these 16 stands out. Hmm. Let me ask you, what are I you hoping? What are there. you hoping God, wins? I don't even what, I don't where's know. your favorite? Where's it lying? I know where mine is. All right, Woodford Reserve is one of my tops. Blanton's is up there. They have been from the get-go. Um, I still return to those frequently. So I would say Blanton's Woodford Reserve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got to admit, probably makes some people mad out there. I want to see where the Jack Daniels number seven lands. Let's talk about that because we <laughs> haven't. We decide, okay. We've got 16, and this is a blind bourbon shootout. We got Jack Daniels in there. What? What? You're you sacrilege. What? Tennessee whiskey. Slap your mama. Technically, it's a bourbon. Yeah. It's with been through the Lincoln County process. Boom. It meets all the criteria of bourbon. Fits it. And we thought Tennessee. We've got to have Jack Daniels. Want to have it. Everybody knows Jack Daniels. It's did we know it might make some people mad? Yes. We did. We did it intentionally anyway. <laughs> deliberately go knowing, jack daniels yeah knowing some people be like what i ain't even watching <laughs> hold on i gotta see that's the idea so yeah it's had that it's had oh. that charcoal maple filtration lincoln county method also none of these are over 50 percent all of these are in between 40 and 50 percent we decided to leave the barrel strength yes, out just so nothing really jumps out actually and we would love to do a barrel strength at now, a future 
Yeah, uh, Bubba and the Beard are getting ready to film one. Matter of fact, wow. so watch Bubba and the Beard. They're doing a, they're doing a barrel proof. And they're bigger guys. They can probably take True. them. You know the beard. Their beards may get in the way. They can probably do like all sixteen. Do they have to cleanse the beard in between tastings? And then go skateboarding. Because you know some. Of, you know, oh yeah, skateboarding. Bubba and the Beard on board, half pipe. Is it so, half pipe or half pipe? I don't know. Half pipe. 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 It's pipe. I think. Uh, so anyway, nothing's over 50% here. The majority of these are really 45, 46, 47%. Hmm. Uh, one or two is right around the 40% or at the 40% mark. And Knob Creek, I think, is the highest at 50. Hmm. Um, and I was going to tell you, my favorite... I get a little weed in here. My right? favorite coming in that I expect to stand out is the Blantons. We'll see. Hmm. What, you're telling me the Van Winkle... Are we going to taste these the or Van, them individually? The Van Winkle 12 hmm. year isn't going to do that good? Is that what you're saying? Well, you asked me what my favorites are. I don't know if it's not going to do that good. I think it is a 12 year, so it should be distinctive. What? No, it's just, I'm oh. just saying. It really wasn't really wanting an explanation. Oh, I'm just saying. Yeah. We'll see where the Van Winkle comes out. I thought out. it was directed to me. It was no. at the crowd. It was just a, yeah. It was just a, You're telling me the Van Winkle ain't going to win? I was like, wow. A $500 I, bottle? I, I was like, I didn't say that at all. Why are you accusing <laughs> me of that? Like, where you, you're not in my you, head. I did move on to the... Uh, you did. Are we going to taste it? you want it? to? I think we should, like, taste it and then maybe pop okay. back and forth. Well, because I don't want the taste of something influencing my nose of the others. Okay. Let's go through and All nose right. them. All right. Good, good, good. Good call. I'm going to turn the coin over to the trooper side in between. See, we can go through a nose and see if anything stands out. Oh. Huh. I get a pine. Isn't and this is G. G, G I get a pine. G golf. A vanilla... Huh. I don't know about pine. Yeah, I got I a pine and then maybe a little bit of Play-Doh. I love that Play-Doh smell. Uh, standard bourbon to me. Mm. I mean, maybe it's pretty rich, but mm. cinnamon, caramel, vanilla. When you first take the lid off of a Play-Doh canister, I get that smell, that sweetness. Ooh, that's oh, delicious. That's making whole, me water. Whole unground that's coffee beans. That's making me water. <laughs> <laughs> it's making my mouth water. Whole unground, did you say? Whole unground coffee. You know, we should have our own coffee line. Yeah. Called a whole, whole unground. <laughs> That's delicious. Wow, I'm really digging G. It, so I mean, it does. It seems rich. Good I don't call. know about pine. Good call. Yeah, I got a little little pine right off the bat. Also, back of the hand. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm. Lana, was she the one that told us back of the hand? There were several. Hmm. So P. Caramel. Cream. Sugar. Sugar cane. Ooh, wow. That's got... That one jumped out a little bit more. Almost a cotton candy? Yeah. Sweeter. Yeah. Huh. Vanilla. A lot of vanilla. Like your nose in the vanilla bottle. Huh. Vanilla dip and stick. Marshmallow cream. I get a marshmallow. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh. Yeah, I get more marshmallow. Almost like a... Uh... Oh, my. Definite marshmallow cream in there. Yeah, the nose on that one initially, when That's I first a, took the yeah. point off, the nose jumped right out at me. Wow, that is uh, that is interesting. A lot of vanilla there. Almost like uh, like a uh, a meringue a meringue whipped sweetness. And that was P Papa 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 E Echo. Watered sweetness. I think there's rye on that one. Candy. Vanilla. Cinnamon. Vanilla. Mm, I don't get cinnamon. Yeah. Vanilla. Huh. Making a very distinct yeah. sniffing noise. Going like different levels. My right nostril is much bigger than my left. Citrus. Just throwing Almost that Almost like out an there. orange zest. Maybe from a rye. 
I feel like this has a lighter ABV on it. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not. It, the nose didn't jump out as much as Paul I did. I got a hint of almost a, a soft root beer. Huh. A cola. A soda kind of uh, syrup. Isn't that interesting? Okay. So they are subtle. Perfumey. But distinct. Almost... I wanted to say rose petally, almost. Ooh. That nose is harder, higher on the end for sure. Huh? And I, I do think you're right. It's either it's it's like wheat and rye that I get off the end. Okay. Okay. So Interesting. Let's go, let's Good go back call to in. Good call on that. In November. I'm putting them I all thought, over on the troop. I thought side. P. Paul jumped out at me on the nose more than <laughs> the others. I understand P. Paul. <laughs> the P jumped out at you originally. They're, they're pretty similar, just going down the line. You definitely tell we're in a bourbon family. I don't know that anything really, though, was jumping up and down screaming different than the other. G's color looks interesting. They're uh, all pretty. Those are all pretty close, yeah. I was looking. I don't know that you can tell in the glass which is which. Okay. That, not that we even know. You going in on November? Mm-hmm. Nora? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Kind of a buttery, creamy mouthfeel as soon as it went in. Whoa, there's some barrel charring. Yeah. Mm hmm A toasted, a toasted oak. Definitely. Wrap it around into a, into a caramel, a, a caramel nut. Almost like a nougat. Vanilla? Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Little, I get a buttery finish. Mm -hmm. It stays creamy and buttery. Huh. Not real. I don't think that's one of the higher ABV ones. That's interesting. Well. If it is, it's hiding it well on the mouthfeel. That barrel char is really indicative on that one. I'm getting a lot of the charcoaling. Mm. Oh. That just made me guess about what it might be. I know. I think I, I for some reason, I, I almost feel like I know what that is. Well, we don't know. <laughs> I know. We should guess. <laughs> the I almost get that maple finish of a Jack Daniels number seven. That's what I was leaning towards. Soon as I thought, there's a lot of charring and a lot of yeah. I'm picking up that. that I'm picking up the ashiness. A it's little a little bit. lower ABV, possibly, and I'm not getting any rye. I thought there was a little rye on the nose. So did, yeah. I don't really get any rye on the palate. Huh, I've got to admit, we may be way off. We could be off. Way now, off. originally I thought I was thinking wild turkey because of mm. the deep, they used the number four alligator mm. charring. Maybe they're not the only ones in this lineup that's doing that. Mm -hmm. hmm. We'll see. I did not think, if that is Jack Daniels, I didn't think it would be that pronounced. But we'll see. Let's well, get that. Well, the only thing that sends it down that road is you're right. I got... I got a uh, an ashiness a little bit on that wood flavor, and you're right. I mean, like you said, we got, we got 16 bottles here for us to pick that yeah. up, but it's interesting. We both had the same yeah. feeling. So, all right. You know what else? A little bit of water to cleanse. You want to mm. sip off this? No, I'm fine. G Golf. A lot of cinnamon and vanilla. This is the one where I got a little bit of pine. People are watching this going, those guys are dumb. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs> First of all, let me they, say though. They just thought the Blantons was Jack Daniels. Yeah, now they're like, idiots. You got to try blind though. You really got to go in super blind with no idea. Uh, Joanne McGinnis, uh, Whiskey Lassie, gave us the idea because she'll have this like, uh, I, I picture a giant basket of samples. And, and they'll just reach in. They'll just reach in and grab a sample and they'll taste it without looking. Wow, you're having a moment. Let go, what do you that got? G is a lot richer. It's a lot thicker, fuller. Great bourbon notes. Mm. A little bit of a charcoal in there. Not near as much as in. Just mm. a light, light charring. Velvety mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. You're right, it does feel fuller. But I can already tell you, in is eliminated. My in is eliminated from that one. G already beat out in, so <laughs> I know I can't advance in. Huh. Well, I won't declare that yet, but... I'm pretty sure. Don't waffle. Yeah. Don't waffle. The mouthfeel yeah. here is more substantial. 
but I'm trying to puzzle out the flavor still. Creamy finish. It's, got, it's, a, it's a higher ABV than in. Still good. It's palatable. <laughs> it's palatable. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. Do you remember somebody commenting who her husband drinks every time, has to take a drink every time we say oakiness? Wasn't that Amy's husband? Yeah. yeah. Oakiness? Oakiness wood. Yeah. Wood. Every, Amy wood reference. Every time we say oakiness. Yes. No, it's just oakiness. Over oak. Oh, oakiness. Oakiness. Because I don't think that's a word, but really? we use it to describe. Oak so every time we say yes. oakiness. I think it's uh, he has Japanese. to take a drink. Okinus. Yeah. <laughs> Korean. Kamsani da. Adishi. I'm gonna let me go back because I might be able I to eliminate one slow. right Kim off the bat. I <laughs> Can't eliminate it. Yeah. You're, okay. I'll agree. I'll leave it. But G is definitely more of a mouthfeel. Yeah. I'm not saying though I don't get as much flavor transition in it. I mean, the mouth feels superior by far. Yes. Yeah. But then it kind of just lingers in the middle palate. I get a floral tannin, an oak, mm. and then it finishes with a with a cornness, a corn graininess. Oakiness? No. That's why I stayed away from the oakina. Hmm. I mean, compared direct with the end. I'm going to add a drop of water so when we come back through, it'll be good to go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm I'm not eliminating add. anything yet. Okay. And uh, I'm not going to do any water yet. I either. will hazard a guess I'm going to eliminate the end. Really? Well, just because I think G is already... I think, you're, you're I right. think what you got to do, what I thought after the right bracket, is I got to compare, compare two together and advance one and then let those two kind of... I'm hoping for a standout. Yeah. Because in the rye shootout, I noticed there were some that just were like, whoop, whoop. there was only one where I had a real hard time. Go back, go back to the end though, did. real quick, have I you? Did. did you get that charring again? That charcoal? Yeah, and it's, and it's a little lot more watery, but I kind of liked some of the flavors in the end. I'm going to the P. We also are not going to shoot. When we did the rye shootout, we did four brackets in one day. We are not doing that. Sorry to disappoint you. I know some people want us to because mistake. they thought the whimsy made the show on brackets three and four it was of the beyond Rye whimsy. Shootout. There was some. There was a lot of whimsy. There was let's whimsy. say that we got a little lost. So we're shooting these in different days. Slower. Hmm. I'm going to say there's a little bit of rye on the nose on, what are we on, papa? We're on papa. By the way, when we did the rye shootout, we had several people come on and back us on Patreon because they were thrilled with kind of what the rye shootout brought. Yes. Me so a, don't uh, forget Patreon. Oat cake, want. if you would. Patreon, you can check us out. Just search Scotch Test Dummies on Patreon, patreon.com. You can support us for... A dollar a month, dollar a show. We usually do roughly 12 shows a month. But it really helps us bring these shows to you. So keep in mind, Patreon. Scotch Test Dummies. The P. Love the nose here. Love the nose. What I liked was the one video that brought all, everybody told us to use unground coffee beans. Well, I said, what do you do to clean? We know what you eat crackers to clean your palate. What do you do to clean your nose? And you said, you remember what you said? In the Exhale. Quiet, you go, just, just breathe in real hard. No, breathe out. Was it breathe out? <laughs> it does. I go, oh, that's how you clean yeah, your nose. That's what it does. <laughs> that's it. We could do a whole show on that. This has a little bit more sugary sweetness on the nose. I know. This is the one that we were talking marshmallow cream. I love the nose. The flavor is leaving me a little bit bland. I'm struggling. Majority going on the taste. Mm -hmm. A little sour on the forefront. I get a rye note. It definitely wood. feels a little lighter, sweeter, sweeter like a honey or a citrus sweetness. 
compared to Finish drops mm. off and disappears quickly. That could be one of the weeders. Boy, I, I'm at a loss with this one. This but if it was, there wouldn't be rye on the nose. Or what I thought was rye. rye. Yeah, I get that marshmallow. Yeah. Hmm? In the uh, lingering finish, I get the corn, corn grain. Hmm. Almost a, uh, a corn bread, a sweet corn bread. Kind of that fluffy corn flavor. Lighter on the palate. Dry. Lighter on the palate than G. Definitely not as rich. And I don't know if I still have charcoal on my palate from N, or if there's some in present in P as well. Are you getting any charcoal? No. Or this the barrel, one, barrel char? No, this one's just coming in so light that I'm going to segregate it for now. I love the nose. The flavor's not distinct enough for me. It's good. It's not bad. I it's admit, not jumping out. One thing I look forward to with the cast strengths, because I love my bourbon at that higher level. I know we're not there on these. These are all 50 or below. Mm, great nose again. The noses, man. I'm, I'm digging the nose on all these. Mm. And you've moved on. You're on E, Edward. Mm -hmm. Echo. Mm. Mm. Got a good nose. Caramel. Sweet tangy nose. Almond. Maybe peanut. Wrapped in oak. And like a mm. like a honey. This may be my favorite. That's interesting. Now, right. I haven't I haven't tasted E yet, but the nose is definitely. Was this the one as we moved down and I pointed out the nose right off the bat that I thought stood out from the others? Mm. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. It was E or P. Each one's getting a drop of water. I don't think it's P because I don't get as much on it. We're gonna hit them. I don't clean. get as much on the P. <laughs> We're going to give P another drop of water, see if it changes anything, see if it opens up. I really, water I think... can open up a dram. So it's worth trying. Sometimes it does nothing. Sometimes it's amazing. E gonna, and G please. definitely have the best noses. Hmm. I don't know, I like P's marshmallow. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Nice, rich, full oakiness. I think that's a weeder as well, possibly. Not a lot of spiciness or rye notes to it. By weeder, you mean it's got a lot of wheat in the mash oh, bill. A weeded bourbon. Right. Yeah. Which could be... Somebody what do we who's have? weeded all. Maker's Mark. Right. Uh, Weller's 12. Mm -hmm. The Van Winkle. That, okay. Those are all uh, weeders that we have in there. Okay. I don't know. Mm. Okay. The water's been in. I'm going to give it a little food quig shake. Hold on. Do I have that right? No, I can't quite get it. How's he do it? It's like his arm's a fulcrum. It's amazing. All right, does it. Food quig! All right. <laughs> food quig does these after parties after our live shows. Tune into those. Whew. Taxi driver. What city? Was well, it in New York City? Mm -mm. He's in Canada. Rubber. Oh, no, I thought you meant Food ta quick. the movie Taxi oh, the Driver. Movie. You said Taxi yeah. Driver. Movie, city? Movie's definitely in New York City. Food Quig is out on the western coast in Canada. Right. Hmm. You film that. All right. We got water. We're going to end. I'm going to do I'm, rapid. I tell you, I'm, yep. I'm calling, going down the line. G stood out at me. The, I like the nose on E. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's, that's a 50% ABV. 
I can tell. There's only one in there, I think. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I don't even remember. Now I want to look, but I won't look. Ooh. I'm taking N and P out. It's down to G and E. I'll take P out. It's not bad, it's just... None of these are bad or they wouldn't have made our shootout. True. I still like, I like the nose on E. Man. G's a good nose, but I think G has the palate. Boy, E is a great flavor though. It's gonna beat out in. We're gonna go between these. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared though. I feel like G is beating it out because of its uh, higher ABV. I mean, I can even see the trails. Well, I can Tears. see good trails on E. Good legs. Legs. Hmm. Narrow it down. Got it down to two. Which one will prevail? <laughs> we could shoot one more of these. <laughs> I'm Have gonna, you added any water? Yes. Well, I added a drop of water to all of them. I'm going to water them up a little bit more. See if I can tease out a little more flavor. A lot of times when we're testing bottles before we do our shows, I will sip on a bottle or uh, you know a full ounce and I will continue to water it down as I make notes. Try to pick up the subtleties. So now I don't do that when I'm drinking sociably, but I'm doing that when I'm testing them. Test it is a true apt because I'm really pushing the ABV down. I start neat and just bring her down, bring her down, bring her down. Well, I love the nose on E, but the palate on G. Look at that double food quig. Hold on, my shoulders are in. I don't think it. he gets his shoulders. In. Oh, you got it. Hold on, it's like a, it's like a pendulum. Oh, you spilled some. You, sir, are not yeah, food I ain't doing quick that certified. I'm just going to swirl. You're not food quick certified. No. You spilled a lot. You got nuts in there. All right. To the G. We're going to go backwards. I'm going to go E and then G this time. Mmm. Mmm. Really water it down, buddy. Wow. Mmm. I feel like I'm getting a wheat, a wheat sweetness on G. <clears throat> Come on, nobody wants to see that or hear it. Sorry. My goodness, what are you, an animal? <laughs> First you're spilling, messing up the food quig patented technique. Then a long, elongated burp, which, by the way, my son has copied you now. He knows I don't like that. Let me see if I'm I I'm a... I'm going with G. Look at this. Do that. It's not doing much. No. I think that was just water. No. It came out of your water. All right. All right. I'm, I'm going to go with G as well. And really? that's not being... Yeah. It's it's sweeter. It's it's I've, it, It's got a better mouth feel. It, it just... Feels velvety. G and E, I think, are both pretty good. They've advanced their I think they as far as P and N is N and P is concerned. G and E. Now I want to make a note real quick. You talked about us not even having the same pores at the same time. And that we would even label different bottles and stuff. Because it is interesting this, how much, and, and we think when we do this a third time, which we shall, we're going to do this multiple times, we'll we're, we're going to try that. Yeah. Because there is some deal, are you influencing me? Do I influence you? Yeah. Why do we end up with G and E? Is it just because of our flavors? And we'll do that on the third time, but we thought it would be important to have the same dram and the same lettered glass so we know what we're comparing to. I personally appreciate it, but in the future we will do a tasting where we even where have you've different got possibly brands. four different samples right. than what I have. Yeah. But I'd like to point out I advanced G before he did. Yeah, you did. 
<laughs> you know, Eagle is well, close. They're um, they're all really, really good. No, and close between E and and G, they they mm -hmm. stood out. You know what else we need is an empty sample bottle that we combine these into, and we end up with this yeah, unique no. sixteen mixture. Yeah. All right. Well, We're that's good. it for uh, bracket one. Wow. So uh, get, we won't know until the end.